recruiting, not only depth, but probably playmaking ability. Is this as excited as you've been about a group since you've been yeah. here? Yeah, that's a, that's a great opening question, man. I am. There's a ton of excitement, you know, and um, I think there's a lot of expectation, right, that, that we have. And, um, man, we, we've got we've got guys that are that are healthy right now, you know, and, um, you know, Tyler Brown missed the spring. Okay, recovering from a foot that I'm happy we got that, that fixed and cleaned up and he's knocking some rust off this summer and get, getting going and same thing with Adam Randall who had a phenomenal start to the spring had a little bit of a quad issue um, you know but came back and, and after not practicing very much showed a lot of really good things in the spring game but now that we're here and, and um, you know those guys are working together without coaches um, they're excited you know and, and I was talking to uh, Antonio and he's like, Coach, we're, we're so deep, man. Like, we're so deep. And uh, and I think our guys, you know, like they, they want to play with top talent. Like, if they want they want to see freshmen coming in that that can get the job done, right? They want to play with top talent in, in, in their own room, and then also against a great defense. They want to have a great defense to go against every day in practice, right? And so I think with our roster. Um, our, our complete team roster, everybody's excited. But talk about the receiver room, it, it is, it, yeah, sure, I'd say it's the most excited I've been about our personnel and, and also just the variety we have. I mean, we have, we can, we can put anybody on the field and have really cool ways of, of, uh, of structuring, you know, concepts based on receivers, running backs, and tight ends, I think better than ever before, you know. so. Uh, you know, Coach uh, Coach Riley's going to have uh, a lot of fun, I think, trying to craft some of that. But um, I could go on and on and on. But man, there's a lot of expectation, I think, a lot of excitement, um, and, and our guys are hungry to go to go do it. You know, uh, here soon. So you mentioned the depth. What's that? Is there a, is there a sense of motivation around the guys that have been around for a while, and kind of the guys that have been hurt, but they're looking for that chance? Then you have, like you mentioned, the two freshmen coming in. Is there a motivation from, yeah. you know, I got to beat out these freshmen that are coming in? There's is no, there, you know, for everybody? There's no question, you know, and um, there's no there's no secret to, to how we've had injuries the last few years, um, you know. And but if you look the last two seasons, we've had a freshman All-American receiver. Well, you know, Tyler Brown was given more opportunity because Antonio, coming off a great freshman year, you know, plays in, in a handful of games, you know, and. Um, and, and redshirted, right? Um, and Tyler rose to the occasion and, and had a great season. And, and then um, you bring in, you know, I'm really excited about about Noble and about Ronan. I mean, those are those are guys that 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 had growing to do, you know, some development ahead of them, and they're working their tails off and have had a great spring and summer. Um, and so, you know, I'm I'm excited about about those guys. And then you bring in uh, Wesco and, and, and T.J. Moore. Um, you know, they all know each other. Right? They all know about each other before they even arrive. And so what I have seen in starting the spring is that guys have really taken that next step. Right? They all want to play. They all want to be a starter. Right? And so I think um, there is a little bit of that, you know, um, um, what's the word for it? Almost like there's a bear on your tail. Right? Coach Sweeney talks about that a little bit with our team. I mean, hey, man, like there's, there's guys coming in that are really good and, and want to play early. Um, I better be on my A game, right, to, to stay where I'm at or get to where I want to get to. And so, uh, absolutely, you know, and that, that's made our room better. And like I said earlier, you know, our guys want that, right? Iron sharpens iron. It's going to raise their game. And, um, and what's cool, too, I'll say this about my room. Um, Adam Randall, for instance, Antonio, like, you know, Adam would take uh, Brian Wesco when he first arrived. He would take him under his wing, and they would go, and they would actually drive – to certain places and, and work with certain trainers. Adam didn't have to do that, but he took took Wesco, I think, to help him. But also, I think Adam knows too. Hey, Wesco's really good at some things that I can learn from. Hey, let's help each other. Let's let's improve together. You know, and so that's been really cool for me to see that there's not any animosity. You know, there's there's a brotherhood that we've had, and and I think it's even stronger this year so far. And and I expect that to to continue. And that's part of my job too. Is that. You know, we can't have selfishness, you know. We can't have that in the room, and um, I want to allow it, and, and, and I haven't seen that so far, so I'm excited about that. You mentioned Antonio as a freshman. How much is he different as a player now as a junior? Yeah, we'll see, right? I mean, it, it, I, <laughs> everything I've heard about this summer, he's, he's doing extra, he's around more, he's leading better. 
he, he looks he looks better than he ever has, and that's what you expect, right? When you get into a program and you and you and you grind with our phenomenal strength staff um, and nutrition staff, nutrition staff, and our recovery staff. I mean, we have a lot of staffs here, a lot of people that do a great job at, in their roles, and so uh, he looks better than ever. And um, you know, he's one of the first guys I think one of the first names that I hear spoken of um, regarding guys excelling this summer. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that's going to be on them. You know, I think uh, Wesco, you know, I went and watched him play uh, play a game, and it was I was I was taking video and I was texting the guys like, all right, like, this this guy right here is is different, you know, and um, he showed up, and you know, there's a transition right for any freshman, um, um, and from high school to, to college, and, and so um, a lot of that's going to be on how they on how they transition, right? Uh, Wesco already having a spring under his belt. I, I just was really encouraged with him. Sat down with him after the spring. I was like, man, just think about all that you've already accomplished, all that's already taken place. Uh, it's flown by, maybe not for him, but you know, it flew by. And that, hey, you came in and you had quickly you had mat drills. You went straight from mat drills to uh, well, winter training, the mat drills, and then you had spring practice, and then you know, here we are, summer training. But he, what he showed in the in the spring, uh, proved to us that that he can he can really help us, right? Um, and like I said earlier, I mean, you've got upperclassmen that are, are phenomenal players in their own right, and they're improving, you know, and I expect a lot of out, of, out of those guys have already been here. And so, um, so yeah, there's going to be a competition, right, for, for who runs out there first. And I think, obviously, game one, we want to be playoff ready, <laughs> play one, right, of the season, right? And so there's going to be a phenomenal, um, you know, push uh, from our staff to have our guys, uh, to have our guys ready, right, and that's going to take um, a, a ton of coaching, a ton of of, of, of intensity, um, you know, fr from our staff to, to have our guys ready. And so, you know, I think Wesco has a phenomenal shot of, of, of really helping us early. And the same thing with TJ. You know, I, we haven't ha got on the grass yet with, with TJ, um, and we will soon. Um, but I'll say this, and I mentioned this earlier, uh, TJ. <laughs> if you look at and our guys know this, but you can see how much time they're spending on their on their uh, iPads uh, studying. And, and I think he's number one right now as far as how much he's he's been watching film, right? And so he's 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 really hungry, uh, and, and he wants to play early, right? Um, I, I don't know any freshman that doesn't want to play as a freshman, right? Uh, but again, so much is that of that's going to be on me to try to make sure that they're that they know what to do, right? That they're ready uh, mentally, and then. Uh, they got to go do it, you know. And so I'm excited for them to have that opportunity, uh, and that's how I've recruited. I've, I've never promised anybody. I didn't tell them, "Hey, you're going to be a starter when you come to Clemson." I, I'm not going to do that. Why? I love my guys that are in my room, and I believe in my guys that are in that room. But I did say, "Hey, there's opportunity for you." Um, and we've again, we've had two consecutive years of of, of freshmen, all American receivers, um, that that stepped up and, and made big plays for us. So uh, I'm excited for those guys, and and. Um, you know, eager to see um, what they do this uh, fall camp. Yeah, you know, again, I'm, I'm I'm eager to get my hands on them again, and so there's time will tell. Uh, but you know, I, I think there, there's a lot of similarities too. You know, um, and, and I had a whole little bit of a hard time because you you want to put them on either side of the field, um, and and they're starting out where Wesco is going to be more of your X. TJ is going to be more of your Z. That's not to say that they'll both play X and Z. I mean, you know, and uh, based on how Wesco learned so quickly, Wesco had maybe a handful of missed assignments all spring as a freshman. Adam got hurt, all right. Um, Tyler Brown wasn't practicing. What um, Stellato moved into the slot, right, and Troy is a guy that – of course, finished the year on a high note, right? And did some phenomenal things for us, but I moved Troy into the slot, so that created more space on the outside, which meant Wesco played with the ones and twos quite a bit um, and, and did some great things at X. 
and so uh, had a ton of reps and, and didn't have many mistakes. And so, sure, there's some cleaning up to do as far as technique and maybe depth and you know things of that nature. But he knew what to do. Um, and so, you know, I, I think there's a lot of similarities, but um, they both run really well. Um, I think I think they both get in and out of their breaks very well. Um, I mean, it, it you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. It, it, they're, they're, they're very similar. They're very similar. I think uh, Wesco probably has a little better top end, right? If you had, TJ doesn't want me to say that, you know, he's, but TJ can run well. But I think Wesco, if you lined him up, you know, maybe has a little better top end. Um, but but TJ, um, you know, yeah. So T, TJ's a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. TJ's TJ's 190 plus, and 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 the thing about Wesco too, I told him I was like, hey man, I'm not worried about your weight. You know, I got that that'll come. You're gonna get into our program, and that's you know, and he already has. Like, he's gained over 10 pounds um, and carrying it well. Um, and so, you know, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about those guys. Going back to Adam. What's the best place to use him? Best place? Yeah, you know, the thing, the best place, he needs to be on the field. And I've moved him around a lot. And, uh, and the reason why is he's, he's too good to just put in one place. Um, and so I've had him at, at both Z and X. Um, and to be honest with you, we've put him in the slot some too. Um, and I'm excited because we can go 10 personnel. Um, and our guys, you know, I've, I've, I've told them that, hey, man, guys, get ready. And then what happens is you have injuries and you're not going to go 10 personnel. And then our tight end room is phenomenal. Um, you know, and I was just 